Hello, my name is Crystal. I'm from the St. Louis area. And so today I actually wasn't necessarily going to film. And then I decided, well, hey, I'm going to take some pictures and stuff. And then I did do a little bit of filming, not a whole lot. But um, me and my friend Mickey, we went to Alton, Illinois. And we also went to Grafton, Illinois. So, um check out some pictures. Our first stop was Fast Eddie's Bon Air. It's a uh, neat little place. Lots of people come with their friends and family. I know I've been quite a few times. It is a 21 and over place. Um, lots of people come here to celebrate their 21st birthday. Uh, lots of good food here for a reasonable price and also alcoholic beverages if you choose to partake. <laughs> Our next stop was the Robert Wadlow statue, also known as Alton's Gentle Giant. Mr. Wadlow um, lived in the Alton area. He was born in 1918 and died at the age of 22 in 1940. At his death, he was 8 foot 11 inches tall and weighing 439 pounds. This is a chair that was custom made for Robert in 1939. It was raining that day that we were there, so there was some standing water. Otherwise, I would have sat in the chair. Um, this chair, the actual chair, is at the museum. There is an Alton Museum of History and Art where they have a room dedicated to Robert Wadlow, and that is the location of the actual chair that he sat in. Uh, the home of Robert Wadlow, or when he was a child, boyhood home, um, is also on the property of the statue. However, um, there was nothing uh, showing that that's, that is what it was. We actually googled and found that it was indeed his boyhood home. Um, and there's also a carriage house that is there as well. The carriage house, though, is not um, any relation to Mr. Wadlow. On our way to our next destination, we saw this monument off in the distance and decided to drive over and check it out. This is the monument for Elijah P. Lovejoy, and it sits at the beginning of the Alton City Cemetery. Mr. Lovejoy was an American newspaper editor and martyred abolitionist who died in defense of his right to print anti-slavery material and the period leading up to the American Civil War. Anytime you can pause this video and read the inscriptions on uh, the stones, um, we thought it was a really interesting place. It was really beautiful that day. So we stopped and walked around for quite a bit um, as there's, um, besides this monument here, there it's an actual cemetery. So there are many uh, stones there dating back as early as the 1800s. I believe we also found some that were in the 1700s as well. Uh, just a really uh, neat place. Um, there were um, several stones, though. It looked like they'd been vandalized. Um, people had knocked them over, you know, things of that nature. Um, so that was a little bit sad to see, but um, overall, it was a really uh, neat and beautiful place. Wow. 
as our American history lesson continues. These life-size bronze statues of senatorial candidates Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas stand on the exact spot of their seventh and last debate on October 15, 1858. A crowd of 6,000 watched the two perform. An engraved plaque at the site claims that Douglas was flat and unsatisfactory, unredeemed by a single sparkle of wit, while home state hero Lincoln took the charges of Douglas and scattered them to the winds. These sculptures were created by Jerry McKenna in 1995. And uh, is it just us or does Stephen Douglas look like he should be on the Wizard of Oz? The next roadside attraction is what is known as PSL Park, uh, the legend of the PSL bird. Uh, this is just another touristy little attraction. You can learn more about it and I will post some information below. Hey buddy, where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? And that wraps up our day. Now we're heading back home to Missouri. Special thanks to my friend Mickey for going out with me. And um, maybe next time it won't take me over a month to uh, <laughs> put this video out there. Um, definitely took me a lot longer than what it normally does. But I'm glad that I put it out there and uh, it was a lot of fun. So if you uh, like what you see and want to see more, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.